Good afternoon. Uh, let me thank uh, the organizers for the invitation to come here. We know that in patients with uh, keratoconus, uh, irregular astigmatism can cause a significant uh, high order aberrations. And this uh, implies a reduction uh, of uh, visual acuity. With cross linking procedures, uh, we may achieve in these ectatic uh, corneas a stabilization and sometimes even uh, a topography improvement. But, uh, the fact is that they remain with an altered shape of the cornea and therefore a reduction of visual acuity and sometimes dependent on contact lenses. We know that the combined protocol between CXL and PRKK allows us to improve visual acuity, but most of all, and this is most important, I would say, good cornea structure in terms of uh, uh, stability. And therefore, uh, this is uh, a, a safe and effective uh, procedure to stop the progression of the disease. But uh, most of all, it allows us uh, to reduce uh, ametropia and aberrations, and thus uh, improve uh, visual uh, acuity uh, and uh, stability. So the C10 uh, procedure or technique uh, uh, combined with cross-linking isn't uh, but uh, a customized la laser treatment uh, that aims uh, at uh, regularizing uh, the corneal surface uh, in order to achieve both goals at the same time. So it is absolutely essential to avoid inducing uh, uh, irregularities that may cause glare, halos, uh, and other problems. The ideal patient uh, for this surgical uh, procedure is obviously a uh, stable uh, keratoconus, uh, cornea thickness uh, exceeding 400 microns, low uh, BCVA, and uh, uh, intolerance to contact lenses. Here we may see a picture uh, of the uh, surgical uh, tomographer um, with a different uh, a differential map in green uh, between uh, the first and the second acquisition uh, of the uh, measurement, and therefore uh, the repeatability uh, criteria uh, are satisfied. Are satisfied. Here we have uh, an uncorrected uh, acuity and the corrected acuity. The pre-op map uh, is this one. Uh, this is the printout uh, which is produced uh, uh, by the device, uh, um, including uh, a great number of uh, data. The software that allows us uh, to uh, design uh, such a procedure is uh, called the CIPDA, but includes morphological data. This is the printout uh, we may obtain uh, 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 from uh, uh, for our project, uh, so it's a small uh, image. However, the goal uh, here is to have uh, as regular a surface as possible, and to be as less invasive as possible. So not to remove too much uh, tissue. How to do this? Uh, uh, by identifying uh, a treatment area, the so-called uh, ideal zone, which sometimes it's even less than one millimeter. And so. What do we have? We have a pupil uh, here, two millimeters, uh, and we remove, we ablate uh, only uh, 35 microns, uh, and we have a pagnometric uh, residue uh, exceeding 450. And these uh, are the uh, images of the follow up. So we have a good, a good pre op regularity with differential uh, maps, uh, which I would define satisfactory. So, the objective here is to get uh, a corneal uh, profile where there, isn't, uh, there is no important difference between the, the more and the less uh, ectasic uh, areas. Uh, this is uh, a three months follow up. So, this uh, device allows us to have a closed control uh, where we have a, a top uh, uh, right uh, the uh, uh, map. That that was an uh, uh, idea uh, that was uh, obtained by means of the ablation. Uh, uh, and uh, at the bottom, we see the one that uh, we were expected or ideally would have obtained. As you may see, there isn't uh, any significant difference. And this is uh, uh, the follow-up, as you may see, and uh, after one year. 
And uh, here we have a, s a number of cases, uh, all of which uh, uh, aim to show you how these, this uh, procedure uh, allows us uh, to achieve great stability for at least one year. Another important goal was to have a, a, a good uh, quality of vision by reducing uh, the high order aberrations. Uh, these are the pre-op aberrations, uh, total anterior and posterior respectively, and these are the post-op ones. So we have a clear reduction of aberrations. Uh, and this goes to the benefit of the quality of uh, uh, patient's vision. Uh, yet another, uh, this is another case, and uh, we may see here that uh, we have removed uh, nearly 50 migrants, but all these cases actually allow us uh, to show the stability uh, uh, of the shape uh, of the cornea uh, w over time uh, that may be achieved uh, thanks uh, to surgery. And uh, here we have uh, the evidence of the reduction in high order aberrations. What is really important, uh, when we plan uh, for such uh, surgery, we should uh, have as a goal in mind uh, to get uh, a corneal shape as regular as possible, so a gradient uh, of uh, inclination or treatment that should be regular. And then uh, the D-max, uh, a very low D-max, uh, below 70 to 80 diopters. An optic zone, very limited, so 1.30 with a D-max 53, six months post-op, and a very good visual acuity. These are the differential data. And this is uh, this uh, another case. Uh, again, uh, here we had planned uh, a correction of the cylinder, uh, a more marked uh, um, correction of the cylinder with uh, a larger optic zone. Here again, an optic zone by about uh, three millimeters, and D-max uh, is uh, here 65. So what can we say? What can we state? Uh, we can state that, at any rate, uh, this procedure allows us, uh, thank, uh, by means of this uh, uh, software, to have a tomographer that uh, allows us uh, to reconstruct uh, uh, faithfully the pre-op uh, conditions, uh, and uh, most of all, uh, the ablation uh, profile will be performed in order to regularize uh, the baseline cornea. So how can, we uh, how can this be achieved? Uh, this is because uh, our surgery includes uh, an initial uh, stage where the laser, in a matter of seconds, uh, uh, disappitalize uh, and regularize at the same time. And then there is uh, the exposure to the cross-linking procedure. So this is a customized, uh, truly customized uh, surgery with a number of automatic uh, steps. So data should be verified and the tomographer doesn't allow us uh, to move on unless the uh, data has been uh, controlled. And uh, the uh, process of uh, verification of the acquired data Um, enables the surgeon uh, a strategic role to customize the intervention and then a closed loop control uh, of uh, the whole proce uh, process allows us to check what we've done. And uh, so what's the take home message? That it's a safe and effective uh, uh, technique. It improves uh, high order uh, aberrations uh, and therefore the quality of vision and in a nutshell it improves the uh, quality of life of our patients. Thank you. La discussione la facciamo poi alla fine. Thank you, Francesco. Uh, Q&A is at the end of presentation. And now Lorenzo will uh, speak about the clinical outcomes uh, after the implantation of a new interest tumor.